Hello, Steve Knights, and welcome to Saturday. As promised, I said that we were going to record some Let's Play stuff, and I was going to record us recording some Let's Play stuff so you would actually be able to see what we did. So, this is that. Um, we both are equipped with the Sennheiser PC 151 headsets. It's my headset of choice. Um, it's less than $50 on Amazon if you live in the States, and the quality is exceptional. It's a really, really wonderful headset, and I've bought one not only for myself, and I've been using daily for two years, but I just bought another one for Mal for the purpose of doing these Minecraft Let's Plays. So what we do is I have my Mac application open, which is ScreenFlow. We actually just finished an episode. This is uh, episode 32, and um, it's recording the screen. I go full screen with Minecraft. And um, Mallory is over there on her MacBook Pro, and uh, what we do is we have the microphone um, inputs from the Sennheiser split going into one mic input, my mic input on my computer, but then we run her, um, her output back to her headset. That ensures that she can hear herself and I can hear myself, but both of our mics are recorded into one input. That's the technical side of it. You probably want us to show you an actual recording of an episode, or at least some pieces of it, and we can certainly do that. Okay, so I just started recording, and I went full screen. So we're going to go back to the game, and I'm going to go down here to my stopwatch. This is, helps me ensure that they're all about 20 minutes long. Hit start. Hello and welcome back to Steven Plays Minecraft. My name is Steven George, I'm here with Mallory Weir, and we are playing Minecraft. When we last left off, we uh, left our spawn point, we took care of some, some house fixes, and we are venturing back to a place in the world where I have been scared to death many times before. Now, we haven't found it, and I'm not exactly sure where it is, but we're going to do our best to find it this episode, and in the event that we don't, then we're just going to have to look at the, the past video and figure it out. Um, it's a very special intro today, uh, because I'm actually filming this right now, I'm filming myself playing the game um, for my vlog. Uh, if you're not aware, I, I do keep a daily vlog. And uh, this, the, the day I'm recording this now is day 585, so if you want to watch the very beginning of, the, of me saying all this, you can go to day 585 and you'll be able to see me and my fiancé Mallory um, and how, you know, how we set things up and how we actually do these Let's Plays. So, if you're interested, go check it out. It's pretty interesting. The other thing we had to do today is come out and get fitted for suits, or tuxes. Tuxes, suits. Uh, anyway, we're here with Austin, who is uh, the best man in the wedding, and we're going over to Joseph A. Bank after we eat. And we're eating Red Robin, which I've only been to like, this is like my third time. This is the Royal Burger. It's pretty much the double cheeseburger, but it's got a fried egg on it. And Austin has it too. How's it taste? Okay, thumbs up. Mallory got something else. You Bacon just got the regular, just the regular one. So after we're done, we're done here. We're gonna go uh, meet over with uh, some of Austin's friends and Jeremy, and we're gonna get fitted. So that should be exciting or painful if they stick us with the needles. I don't know if they do that or not. Success! Me and Austin are fitted. We're good to go. Um, we came over here and met up with uh, Jeremy and Sean and Joe. And oh God, this is weird. They have deep fried candy bars, and Jeremy got a deep fried Milky Way. The thing, I'm not gonna say it looks gross. Oh gosh. Like, it doesn't really look gross. It kinda does look gross. Okay, it kinda does look gross. It kinda, it looks, like a, it kinda looks like a dog took a crap inside a corn dog, but, <laughs> but you know, to each their own. It's amazing. It does is it, delicious. Does it taste good? It really, it, yeah, it really does taste good. Yeah. So we're driving back home after our adventure today. And we see a spotlight. I don't know if it's even showing up on the vlog. We saw it way up the road, and I was like, you want to follow it? And I was like, yeah, let's follow it. So we're actually going out of our way to figure out where the thing is connected to. Because we like adventure. We're wasting gas. One of the two. But I'm interested, and she's interested. So we are going to follow the spotlight and see where it goes. We are getting on Main Street here. It's directly in front of us. Yeah. Mallory had said it was down by the water, and I was like, no, it's never, it's definitely not by the water, but she's I right. said it was down by the OD Pavilion, and that's exactly what's right in front of us. You think it's the OD Pavilion? Yes. Well, we'll see. Getting closer now. Closer. Closer. Oh, I meant to the, the truck in front of us, not the thing. But yeah, we are also getting closer to that light. It's right up here, whatever it is. Oh, how exciting. I wonder if it's free money. You think it's free money, Mal? I hope it's free money. I could use some free money. It's probably not free money. He's hopping down here. 
I don't see anybody hopping, Mallory. Oh, this is a firework. Hey, it is July 2nd, not July 4th. Although today is actually the day that John Adams said that we should celebrate. Today is, I think, when they formed the law and they didn't sign it till the 4th. I think that was how it was. I don't know. Alex, Alex from, uh, <laughs> Alex from the vlog. Alex, my roommate, had posted something on Facebook, and it was a quote from John Adams. And John Adams actually said that we should be celebrating on the 2nd. Of course, we all ended up celebrating on the 4th, but whatever. All right, where is this stupid... I tell you, it's here in the pavilion area. Wait, where is it? I don't see it now. Oh my god, did they shut it off? Certainly not. Are you kidding? They shut it off when we get down here? Yeah, but... Oh, no, it's, it's right, right there. there. Where's it? Oh, right here, on the side of the road. That thing? That thing is what we saw all the way from the bypass. Oh my god. That thing? That's crazy. Honest to god, we saw that spotlight, like, 20 miles away. 20 miles away. That thing. Wow. Lights are cool! Okay, let's go home. The last thing I really wanted to do today is show this. This is a type of Jones soda that uh, my mom actually saw in the store the other day and was like, hey, I don't think you have this. She actually called me, and I've never seen this before. It's, it's zero-calorie Jones, which is known as Zilch, and it's vanilla bean soda. And I've never had this, and I am a fan of Jones soda, so we got a four-pack, and me and Mallory are going to give it a shot. What's it taste like? A little bit like cream soda. Yeah. Yeah, I like it a little better than the cream soda. Well, like you it. enjoy it because I don't like it. Really? Uh-uh. I mean, I, I think it's good. It, it, tastes, it tastes very similar to their cream soda, but cream soda, like, kind of has the aftertaste where it's like, not sludgy, but, like, thick, that gets, a, like, a coating on your tongue kind of thing. This doesn't. Mallory's behind the camera going, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Cream soda has that. At least Jones does. But this doesn't have that. It's good. It also has uh, zero calories, zero fat, uh, zero carbohydrates. So if you need an excuse, this stuff's pretty good. I just wanted to add that after drinking the entire thing, it wasn't all that great. It's not bad. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but I wouldn't get it again. I really wish I was able to buy just one of them and not an entire little case thing. So you can try it if you want, but it's a lot like cream soda. And if I had to tell you to get something, I would tell you to get like green apple or something. So might be one to pass.